hello people how are you all doing hope you're doing well so i'm back here again in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to route the memo emulator so for this let let me first fire up the multi instance here you can see my android version is 9.0 and 64 bit uh, you can do this same procedure on the 32 bit that's not an issue so let's start our machine All right. Now that our emulator is uh, loaded, we're going to settings. Here we're going to do some important tweaks. So follow me. First, we're going to disk, and here we're going to change from shared to independent option, independent system disk. Okay. And uh, here we're going to back again in engine, and turn on the root mode, and click on OK. Now what we want to do is restart okay let me just double check the settings are applied or not okay good good okay so now we're good first uh, let me open my application package here i got the magisk delta 25.2 okay uh, don't worry i'll be linking the application in the description you can download it from there okay uh, so the problem of course when we directly try to let's just say i try to install directly install and here you can see it's showing throwing the error system partition is read only okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to home now uh, basically it's an easy step okay so what we're going to do we're going to settings here we're going to uh, mm -hmm, storage no, no no not storage sorry i think we're, we're going to general options yeah here i have set it to root access mode uh, you make sure your default option will be this safe mode now what you're going to do you're going to change it to root access mode okay okay so we're going back now here we click on this this and basically we are going to root directory okay here you can see we are on root directory now click on this lock icon and set it to mounted okay and click on okay now scroll down here again click on system and again click on the lock icon and turn on the mounted option okay now don't close this explorer okay that's that's the important stuff don't close this explorer go to Mas magisk again click on back click on install uh, uncheck these options okay click on next the same procedure direct install in the system portion and let's go okay uh, don't worry about this error all okay let, let me just okay here's the important stuff don't restart your emulator okay what you're gonna do is click on okay just abruptly exit your emulator now start our emulator back again okay so now our emulator is restarted what we're going to do we're going to settings again and here we're going to turn off this root mode and click on ok and restart now okay we are back in the system again here you can see magisk is installed now you can install this ijx without any problem go to settings here's ijx and here again don't restart click on ok now start the emulator again okay so here you can see yeah we got zygis installed and here's our super user okay uh, so do we got any app here yeah here 
Let, let's just install the Tormax to oh <laughs> I installed the wrong app sorry here if I simply type as you you can see yeah the magic is working properly so that's it for this video if my video helped you do like my video and subscribe my channel and thank you.